but this doesn't define me. This is just the stuff that collects dust. You know, all this stuff in the closet, it literally collects dust, you know, but the memories and the achievement and the person that I became throughout the process, that doesn't collect dust. That doesn't get old. That makes me who I am and that's how I'll be forever. So I'm gonna actually show you guys something no one else has seen before. Let me show you exactly where I lifted my very first dumbbell. Um, we had a little table right here with a dusty mirror. I remember being 130 pounds as a teenager and just like looking at myself in the mirror, not liking what I saw, but knowing that I had to change. My dad or my brother had an old pair of 15 pound cast iron dumbbells. Like that 15 pounds felt like 100 pounds. Just stand here and just do bicep curls, do two or three sets and fail, you know? Pick them up, another two or three reps and I'll fail. Slowly but surely I trained right here for an entire year before I gathered up the courage to join a real gym. My neighbor, her name was Jetta, and she actually moved to uh, Florida. She lived in this house right here when I was growing up. And the day that she moved, my brother was like, hey, come on, we gotta help the neighbor move. Get up off your lazy ass, let's help her move. So here we are, two or three hours of moving. No one likes moving. My brother ditches out early. She gets a hold of me. She's like, hey, I didn't get a chance to give this to your brother, but I have $100 for you and $100 for him. Uh, tell him I said thank you. My brother not knowing, I pocketed all $200. I bought a bench press. I bought some more dumbbells that I would eventually put in my basement and continue training. And that's where I did my first year of training. So shout out because that's the start of my career right there. So next stop, I'm gonna show you guys where I went to elementary school, where I first got bullied, where I felt defenseless. Um, I remember specifically there was this one kid that used to sit on my head like the entire bus ride home. He would oftentimes like even put gum in my hair and beat me up every day and he was a bigger kid. This is exactly where like strength and fitness comes into play. Like when you feel strong inside the gym, you feel strong outside of the gym. You're able to stand up for yourself. There it is. It's my good old elementary school, man. I say it all the time, I mean, this fitness lifestyle is not about looking better than somebody else. It's not about like showing off or, you know, going to the beach with your shirt off. It's not about any of those things. It's about instilling confidence and strength within yourself. And uh, I think that's why I'm so successful at what I do. I've been training for 14 years. Forget about the trophies and the magazine covers and all that stuff. It's not about that. At the end of the day, about working out, liking who you are. When you like who you are, you start to spread love in everything you do, every interaction you have. Now, let me take you to my first ever gym. Uh, I've actually never been here since, so this is bringing back memories. It's so cool to be back here. This was the back entrance to my gym. This used to be a Synergy Fitness. I remember I used to just sit there. If somebody walked by with good arms, I would look at what machine they were using and like how they were using that machine. And then when they would leave, I would then go on that machine and start to kind of copy what they were doing. I would imitate what they were doing. If somebody had a good chest, I would watch how they trained chest and I would never ask questions. But I was so shy and insecure that as soon as they left, then I would try to do what they did. So that gym didn't stand the test of time, but I certainly have. Take a look at this. This is one of my like very first magazine covers. You could tell at one point I've been like, always was like so proud of this that I framed them. Here's another spread in another magazine. This was like such a like achievement to me. Like if I could just make it in the magazines, man. This is like one of the first pro shows I ever won. This is the New York pro. Rich Gaspari, a legend in the bodybuilding world presented me the title, the New York pro champion. Ah, oh, this is the first time I was in Muscle and Fitness magazine. I remember like this was like, oh, I could die happy now. You know, I'm in Muscle and Fitness, I could die happy. Shout out to Sean Perrin, rest in peace Sean Perrin, putting me in the magazine. Here's another front cover of Muscle and Fitness magazine. This was actually the Australian version of the Muscle and Fitness magazine. Fitness is huge in Australia. I'm huge in Australia. I love Australia. Um, here I am, this is when I won the Arnold Classic, qualifying for Olympia for a third time in a row. First ever Arnold Classic champion. 
my friend saw this. Somebody painted a live portrait of me, like when I won the Arnold Classic. And I said, I have to have that. I got some more Olympia trophies up here, over here as an Arnold Classic. Arnold Classic crystal, you know, but this doesn't define me. This is just, this stuff that collects dust. You know, all this stuff in the closet, it literally collects dust, you know, but the memories and the achievement and the person that I became throughout the process, like that doesn't collect dust, that doesn't get old. That makes me who I am and that's who I'll be forever. You know, it's here, I know it's here and I never look at it because it doesn't matter. Person you become matters.